for you, uh, Memphis has such a rich history in hip hop. How how influenced were you by Memphis hip hop growing up? And if, and if not Memphis hip hop, what else? Like who else were you influenced by? Just your your style. I was influenced by um, uh, Boosie, Birdman, mm. Lil Wayne, all the Lil Wayne rappers. Master Birdman P. as a rapper influenced you? Yeah. Birdman, boss, the boss man. Yeah, what for sure. To that boy, for sure. I I, I fuck with Bird. You feel what I'm saying? I got that work by the Big Timers. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Yeah, and neither of those guys are great at rapping. Yeah, yeah, and I love how he, I love yeah. how Birdman like he 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 pushed Wayne for sure. You no, know Birdman, like, like, I mean, probably, he might be the best CEO ever. Yeah, and I, like it ain't just about the CEO tip though. It's just like you feel what I'm saying like he just like that, that type of soul in your corner. Mm-hmm. Everybody don't got that. Right. Everybody want to be like that person. Everybody want to step on it. Master P. Yeah. Yeah. Were you, I was born on Master P. You were listening to that Ghetto Dope? Say, uh, I was I was born to it. Make crack like this? Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, listen, I stole a No Limit chain. I mean, I'm older than you, so I was like, you you were born like- 1996? You were born when Master P was lit, when the Ice Cream Man came out. Yeah, this, I was born on yeah. him. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I was, go to sleep. I got They put a pillow. My mom used to put a pillow under my, uh, I mean, a uh, um, uh, speaker under my pillow. Playing Master P? Playing Master P. Oh, that song. Sh- Damn. Nah, 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 nah. That's how I go to sleep. That's amazing. Just but, mystical, just screaming in your ear. Yeah, mystical with the with the, the dreads. Yeah, oh, man. He's so crazy. Hot Boy is my favorite movie. I just talked to Silk before um I flew here. Hot Boys is your favorite movie? Yeah. In life? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. How many movies have you seen? A million of them. And Hot Boys starring Silk the Shock is your favorite? Hot Boys. Like Silk, man. Silk just got through talking. I love so Silk. no limit. So like I always say that Silk is the best worst rapper ever. The worst rapper? No, the best. The best worst rapper ever. I'm gonna skip on that because he ain't gonna lose me. Just like <laughs> so, you see that movie poster over there, Belly? Uh huh. That is the best worst movie ever. Why you say worst? Because it's really not a good movie, but it's great. I love that fucking movie. That movie's nostalgic. That movie like reminds me of a place in my childhood. It's amazing. I wish Hype Williams would have kept making movies, but it's okay, not what a, about it's Rich, not okay, a good movie. Okay, what about Richard Dotran? It's not Belly. I like Belly. But Belly's the best worst movie ever. Okay. And Silk the Shocker's the best worst rapper ever. Okay, what about Shadows? Shadows is a classic. I sold so many of those at the swap meet. Fucking, that's how I got my name, Bootleg Kev. I was at the swap meet fucking burning So Shadows. I watched Shot of when they first came out. Shot, Shot this is a fucking classic. Yeah, now, for sure. Also, I know everything about it. Killer season, Cameron. That shit was great. If we're yeah. talking about just like Cameron, they, he was he was a th- he was a. My favorite that. Master P movie was I got the hookup though. That shit was great. Yes, that was way better. I stay than, watching it. Way better than Hot Boys. I stay watching it. I Rest like, in peace I, I, to the I, guy I, who was in the movie. What was his name? The the comedian who played Ezell on Friday. He died. Blue. You talking about um? They used to call him Blue. The little dude in, 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 in and yeah, I, yeah. I got the hookup was a, is a yeah, classic. Yeah, he's so funny. Oh yeah, he uh, uh he, he I was like how the dude walked up to the truck. Man, I, selling, he I, said, "Yo, shit, is like talking uh, me." I had masterpiece shoes, bro. <laughs> and them shits. I ain't never had no masterpiece shoes. Nobody did except me in my school. <laughs> them shits was ugly. <laughs> Why you wore them? Because I love fucking masterpiece. I stole a no limit chain, bro. I had that fucking ghetto dope. I had the fucking was the root chain real? Of course not. It was like fucking silver. I was like fifteen. Why are you steal it then? You so wanted I was a it. Bad child, and I wanted to feel like I was in no limit. I feel. You know. I feel. I had that. I had the Wu Tang chain. Yeah, I feel. But you got the. You know, you're CMG. I used to. I used to walk around uh, thinking I was Lou Wayne. I was little. I used to have a shirt around my head. That's funny. <laughs> With like lemon Ford in my mouth and shit. Boozy. Glasses on. You say you you love Boozy. He just called me. Yeah. He is one of the guys in rap that if you meet him, he'll never disappoint you. Because you'll meet some of your like heroes or the people you look up to. When you meet him, you're like, ah, he was kind of a dick or he, was, he wasn't who I thought he'd be. You meet Boosie and he's like, this is your re- as advertised. Yeah, we, we act alike though. You guys act alike? For sure. That could be a good and, a, a, a good and bad thing because Boosie's wild. Now, he wild, but he's like, like he's street though. Of course. He a street wild. And he's and he's very he's he's a smart dude. Yeah, yeah. He he knows right from wrong. He knows how to get to the bag. For sure, he'll hustle. He'll get. Any, any, he goes to a city, whatever. He can sell anything. Oh yeah, sell anything. Whatever bag you got, he'll take it. 
He gonna say he gonna sell it to you. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, he don't matter. He gonna get some money. 